my boys and girls. I've got another story for you today. Another one of our favorites. You ready for Pig the Pug by Erin Blabley. It's got a lot of pages for you to get the story. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor, but when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say, but Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both play together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine, didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry, but the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together while pigs on the mend. Mm, that's a very important lesson to always share. Hope you enjoyed it.